I say we start off with, uh, if you have the, the Ben Shapiro clip, let's start off with that first on what happened with uh, Daily Wire. This clip was shown. It was going viral on Twitter, and then there was a tweet from Candace Owens, and then I'll let you read the whole thing, and then we can have the conversation. about. Go ahead and play this clip. Yes. Uh, the, the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this has been disgraceful. Yeah. Without a doubt. I think it's been disgraceful. Yeah. I, I, I can't yeah. Disgraceful. Yeah. Look at the girl's face on the bottom right. I think that her, her faux sophistication on these particular issues has been ridiculous. It's not faux sophistication, it's ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that she's making and the things that she's saying, and I find them disreputable. Wow. Yeah. And, and what's he referring to, Pat? Like, what, what, what did Candace just actually... Just the position she's taken. And, and now, if you want to, Rob, if you want to go to the tweet that uh, uh, it's easy to find, if you just go to one of the Twitter accounts and you go all the way to the top, you'll see the exchange between both of them. The one where she says she'll step down. He should. She. He basically well, says she should step she down. Well, she first put some yeah. words about, uh, you know, the difference between money and God and faith and all that, and she, he retweets it, so... I don't know if you're going to be able to find it. From there, you'll find everything else uh, on the bottom. And there was a back and forth. And it not necessarily was the uh, – it should have been something handled privately. Rob, if you can't find it, I'll find it myself here. Let me let me get it for you, and I'll text it to you. Uh, here, let me see. Did you get it? Is that the one? Okay, there you go. Okay, so – Yeah, you want the response to this. Yeah, and you, you'll see the response to this, Rob. We'll find that. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God – Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye uh, when men shall revile uh, 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 you and persecute you and shall uh, say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. 14.1 million views on that tweet. Christ is king. He retweets that, okay? His retweet, I don't know if you have that, Rob. It's it's tough to find because there's been so many tweets since he tweeted that, but and basically, you should be able to find it. And, Pat, that, that quote's from the Bible saying that, you know, she wants peace, right? They want as much. Yes, and then he responds, and Candace, if you feel like ta that taking money from Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. Like, what does that have to do? 23 million views. Yeah. Okay? And then she has another thing that she says after that, and she comes back and says something else uh, responding to him and then there's this exchange and then she's on tucker yesterday talking about this and tucker asks who's the boss is he your boss is he this is he that and it says look for five years we've had all these different differences between each other and he's had pretty much every position that i've had uh, you can play one of those clips with her and tucker rap you can just play one of those clips in the beginning i think he goes right into um yeah Rob, just pick one of them, Rob. Just pick that one. It's fine. Just Yeah, there you go. And uh, commanded him to stop saying that the earth revolves around the sun. Fast forward. Shut up. The oh, you're, you're about to have another descendant. Actually, yeah. 40, 40 weeks, but I was not missing this. I was so excited. So I'm nice. honored to be here. Well, so it's is it a little, it's a little weird to see yourself? Look, we all get things wrong. I certainly have gotten a lot of things wrong. I think it's fair to be attacked for getting it wrong. But if you get it right... And it's proven that you got it right. And in three instances, it has been proven that you did on the biggest issues of the day. Shouldn't the people who attacked you apologize? And shouldn't someone at least point out, hey, Candace Owens was right about yeah, that? Yeah, I don't think it's that. Well, I think what there's tends a, to happen a, is they have clip. too much ego. In the there's a clip. Anyways, there's more to it. But when you're seeing this, Tom, what do you think about this whole back and forth between her and uh, Ben Shapiro, two brands? Is it a big deal? Is it not a big deal? It's just locker room talk, you know? And then Ben's coming out saying, if you don't want the money, you can leave, you can quit. Uh, the right behavior. What are your thoughts? Pat, you and I have been involved in businesses for a while, and I've had the privilege to work with you in a business that you founded. And one of the key laws, not laws, but one of the key tenets of a healthy thing is, is basically you have home conversations that need to be had at the kitchen table, home at your kitchen table. You didn't diss your parents to your friends. You protect your parents. Your parents protect you. And these kind of conversations should have been at their office or on the phone by themselves and putting it out publicly, you know, that, that, but, but that doesn't work. And I think Ben was the one that started it. Ben dissed basically, if you want to call him the co-founder, okay. If you want to say Jeremy's really the CEO, that's, that's fine. But 
he dissed her first in public, and then she tried to respond, I thought, in an elegant way. And then he goes over the top all the way to quit. If you want to, if you want to go, then by all means quit. To me, that was just really uh, over the top. These conversations should be had in private and healthy organizations. And uh, sorry, Ben, you started it. By the way, here, here's a response from her. Uh, you have been acting unprofessional, emotionally unhinged for weeks now, and we have all had to sit back and allow it, and have all tried to exercise exceeding understanding for your raw emotion. But you come, you uh, cross a certain line when you come for scripture. And read yourself into it. I will not tolerate it. So, so she, re she responds after he blows it open. So, so she noticed she didn't say anything like that until he blew it open, and, and Pat, then she what, responded. And then Tom, what do we? What do, that, and this is all in regards, Pat, because she's saying the past couple of weeks is because this is since the Hamas terrorist attack, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So I think I think the disconnect, not not even just with these two human beings, I think it's just in general. Is it one side? Is like, hey, listen, if you don't think and you don't support and you don't care like we do and you can't even question anything or be caring for humanity on the other side, it's automatically there's just a disconnect. You know what I mean? You And mind you, I've been getting this flack too and I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll get it. If I ask questions or if I just say, guys, how many innocent are – like when are we going to kind of calm down? Oh, you support – uh, you support Hamas. I'm a, no, 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 no. I'm just asking questions, and I'm worried about the 11,000, 12,000 people that were killed. You know, how many Hamas? I can't even ask that question. So that's that disconnect because, yo, Ben is obviously pro-Israel. He's 100%. He's all in. What was she saying that was so bad, Pat? What Got him. Well, uh, it's safe to say this relationship is completely finished. Finito. So uh, anytime, like, look, we have conversations, debate, dialogue on air. But we have even more conversations off air. Big time. This, like Tom said, this is a, this is some, something that they need to have a sidebar conversation off air. They're airing out their dirty laundry on Twitter. That's not gonna. That's not a good look for either of them. I'm sorry. No one looks like they're taking the high road. If I have an issue with Pat, I mean, I, I, I'm looking at it this way. Or if any one of us have an issue with Pat, we're gonna go into Pat's office and we're gonna have a conversation. Pat's gonna say, "This is what you need to do. This is how you to stand for." Hey, Pat. Respectfully, this is where I'm at. We're not going to have a debate with Pat online. No. That doesn't behoove any of our interests. So you're putting this on Candace. I'm just saying that there needs to be respect both ways. Yeah. And you're not – like just – we've had many private conversations, <laughs> sure, okay? Course. Just like ben, Vinny and I have had many private conversations. Just like Tom and I have many private conversations. We're not going to do it on Twitter. It just seems to be a complete disconnect. Whether it was this issue or another issue, because this isn't the first time they've had feuds. No. You remember there's been other things in the past. On this particular one, what do you think? On this particular one, how do you evaluate it? Well, obviously, Ben is as pro-Israel and as Zionist as it gets, and rightfully so. That's his position. Candace isn't Jewish. She just tweeted Christ is king. I think she's on the side of, like, she doesn't want to see innocent people dying. By the way, we all should be on the side of not seeing innocent <laughs> people dying. Yep. Whether you're Jewish, you should not be rooting for dead Palestinians. And believe me, they're not. But whether you're Muslim, Palestinian, uh, newsflash, guys, you shouldn't be rooting for innocent dead Jews. So check yourself if you are. But it seems like she's the side of, like, can we just kind of figure this out so dead people won't die. And I think that's a fair point. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, Ben, what Ben is doing, which you have to respect, Ben is saying beliefs above uh, uh, money, okay? That's, a, that's really what he's doing because he knows to take a position like this and say what you say about Candace in that video, disgraceful, you know when you're a Ben, there's 50 cameras on you. That's going to go live. You know, at that phase of your life, you are trained. Like one of the first things you learn in insurance and sales is, you know, every time you give a presentation to 30 or more people, just assume there's a camera on. Yeah, and guess what? 100%. Everybody forgets sometimes. You're like, oh, man, you know, just assume somebody's recording it. So he knows that that's going to be posted. Now, maybe right after it's like, oh, shit, I should never said that. And boom, now it's viral. Now it's out there. Now I have to react to it. But Ben is saying, guys, I don't cross the line. When you want to take a vaccine? I'm taking a vaccine. Ben took the vaccine. Yep. And Candace didn't, right? So it's like, look, I'm choosing to take the vaccine. You do what you got to do. Great. I'm choosing to do this. I'm going to have a meeting with Kanye. I will never meet with Kanye. Okay, no problem. And 
at the same time, look, respect where you're at, but it doesn't make for the right business decision you're making when you're making it that public, okay? Is a Jewish community not more realizing that he's 100, 100, 100% pro-Israel and pro-Zion? Yes, that's clear. Um, on the other side as well, when you're dealing with uh, a talent like Candace, when you bring a Candace in, if you've been around the block and you know what her background is, you're going to call and find out what Candace is all about. You're going to know if Candace is a person that's got an opinion or not. Candace has got an opinion for God knows how long. She's had it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. No problem. The only thing is I hope these guys figure it out because Daily Wire is a brand that should stick around and do their own thing. I hope they this comes gets past them and she stays there a lot. But, oh, you should sign Candace. You should. Listen, man, I want her to stay there. I want them to figure out a way to make it work. I want those guys to work together, make it happen. It's a very good team that uh, they all have a different message that they bring in. But uh, – we're going to see what's going to happen. There's certain things you shouldn't air out to the public. And the fact that she goes immediately and interviews with Tucker, and Tucker just started a media company, uh, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where am I uh, 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 hinting at, hey, if Daily Wire doesn't do, am I going to go with Tucker's new media company? Am I going to go to Rumble, do this, do that? The reality is both of them are some of the two, two of the most talented people when it comes onto the space. They're very good communicators. But we'll see what happened there. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.